Hello there and welcome to another video by the MXQ Project. So today's video is all about TWRP for SA02 and Watchic devices. So something like the MX3 4K for example. Don't worry if you don't have this box, it's also available for maybe the M8 and so on. T8 even I think has the SA02. So what can we use TWRP for? Well, it's a really useful tool for installing firmware, backing up firmware, as well as a few other things as well. So maybe you're wanting to install some new firmware, some fresh stuff, maybe you've found a new release by your manufacturer and you just want to install it, but you also want to back up your original firmware just in case things go wrong and it can go wrong. TWRP is going to enable you to do this and it's really easy to use. It's a very easy interface as well. All we're going to have to do is go and grab a file from FreakTab. So this development is by Abdul. He is the developer of FreakTab and he's produced TWRP for many different TV boxes with the Armalogic processor. So make sure that you've got an SD card, the right size one. So on my box, I have got a micro SD card slot just on the side there. You might have a full size one. So make sure you've got the right SD card for your box. As well as that, we need to go and grab a file. So let's do that now. So let's go and grab this TWRP file from FreakTab. I'll leave their links in the description, of course. But once you get to this page, you can see this is by Abdul. So big thanks to Abdul for actually doing this. It's a huge development. But anyway, let's go down this page and we'll see all the files available for TWRP for all the different devices. So I'm using the MX3 4K, so we can just see the file just here. But this actual version doesn't work for us or doesn't work on my particular hardware. There could be any reason why, maybe the manufacturer is based on the M8, and this is probably the idea behind um, the reason why the M8 TWRP works. So I'm gonna download this, you can try the other ones, and we can download that file just now. So once we've got the file downloaded, place it onto your desktop, and what we need to do is we just need to rename it to recovery. That's all you gotta do. Now this is a good time to actually place the SD card into your computer. Because the next thing we need to do, we need just, just to drag and drop that recovery file into your SD card. Now, next step, we need to go over to the TV, grab your TV box, and we need to place the SD card into the box. So the next step is quite simple, really. Grab the SD card we've just placed TWRP onto. So I'm using the micro SD card because I've got the micro SD card slot on the side of my box. Pop in the card just into here. Now, place the HDMI cable in, get it all set up on the TV, etc., ready to go. Get yourself a thin object, and then place it into the AV port. Now, it might be in a different port, but the chances are, usually on these devices, that it's in AV port. There's a reset button in here, and you'll be able to hear on this on the camera. Now, we need to hold that in. Now, on this box, we've actually got a power button here. So, I can just put in the power cable just now and then hold in this button and then click the power button now if you've got an m8 for example i don't think that comes with a power button so before you apply the power make sure you're holding down this button here the reset button inside and then apply power then what should happen is if you've chosen the right file the right twrp file it should boot as shown if not, you're going to have to repeat the process, go back onto the link that we've just been through, try a different TWRP file. I'll probably leave a couple of links as well to maybe other places where you can get these files from. But just make sure that you delete the one that's on the SD card and then place the new one onto it and make sure you've named it Recovery. So welcome to TWRP running on the MX3 SETA5 TV box. So there's a number of things you can use TWRP for. It's a very useful tool for installing firmware, for example. So what you would normally get is a zip file to install new firmware or replacement firmware. So you just go into the install section. Make sure you've chosen where you've stored that actual file. So you would put it onto the actual SD card that this TWRP is running from. So just copy it over onto that and then make sure you've selected external SD. And what should happen is you should have your zip file here. Obviously, I've not got any zip files ready, so I can't actually 
show you the actual process i don't want to actually damage the firmware on this actual box so you know but placing your zip file onto the sd card booting tdbrp should display your zip file ready to go now if we're, we were to back up the firmware on your box you would just click back up and then you would select all these so you would select obviously your system that's the main android system any data you've got stored on there and then you would just swipe to back up uh, make sure you've actually selected your external sd card um, that's where it's going to actually store the file and then you would just select swipe to back up and then what will happen is it may maybe take about a couple of minutes maybe five minutes maybe ten minutes depending on how much data is stored on your on your TV box but it doesn't take too long so that's us backed up the internal firmware or the stock firmware should I say that comes with the box now I can put this safely away for you know a time where we, when the box crashes and it freezes or it doesn't or the firmware is just totally knackered and it just won't boot anymore as long as TWRP boots you can restore it back to its normal you know factory state we can just click on restore and you'll see here the file now this actually creates a bunch of folders on your on your SD card so when you actually use a computer to actually view those uh, files just make sure that you don't touch it you don't change anything with it you store it in a safe place and when you come back to restore it make sure you put it onto the SD card along with TWRP and when you go into restore you'll be presented with that you can click on that and you can just swipe to restore and it'll just totally install your original factory firmware so what else can you do with TWRP well you can wipe the system with it you can totally format it maybe you've got an issue and it just you're, you're struggling to install certain firmware for some reason formatting the data might actually help you get it get this TWRP to install the firmware now TWRP over maybe Android recovery for example so you've got, actually already got a recovery tool built into Android and if you've ever seen that before when you just place a toothpick in and it'll load up your initial splash screen and it'll go to like a it looks like an Android robot on its side now TWRP is a hundred times better than that system to actually install in firmware and you'll just find but most of the time, zip files in the form of firmware should just install no problems at all. The only problem is that you'll come across is whether that firmware is compatible or not. And I can't, you know, I can't really comment on whether that will work or not. It's just a case of trying it out and seeing what happens, really. Uh, unfortunately, um, there's no real way to determine whether a piece of firmware would brick the box. Um, but there we go. Just as long as you've backed up, then you've got a good chance of actually recovering it, it and so on. And there we have it. There's a few more things you can do with TWRP. I won't go into that. Um, you know, we've got we've covered the basic install, we've covered the basic backing up the system, and obviously restoring it and wiping and formatting the internal storage as well. So that's it for guys. That's that's this video pretty much wrapped up. I've done a number of TWRP videos before. It's all pretty much the same. It's a very, very useful tool to use. So thanks for watching, guys. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the video. Don't forget to like if you like the video as well. Um, we've got our Facebook group, the mxuproject.com, um, as well as the forum as well. I'll leave all the links in the description if you want to come over and say hello. He he say hello, not hello. But there we go. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.